Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Let's talk about extensions or add-ons. Uh, there's a little bit of a jargon terminology mix up as Internet Explorer used to call them add-ons and Edge is based on Google Chromium. And so Edge Chromium is kind of a mix up of the two. So you'll see both of these words, extensions and add-ons and don't be confused by them. They're the same thing. And basically what an add-on or an extension is, is a browser accessory. Think of it like that. So something that enhances the functionality of your browser just a bit. They're small applications that you can download and they can change things about your browser, whether it be productivity related, you could download, for example, the Outlook extension and log in and be able to send emails from your browser more easily, look at your calendar in different situations more easily. And then there's some that just change the appearance of your browser, maybe add more color, or in my case, I have the dark reader, which changes the background color dark so that it's a little easier on my eyes, things like that. You can just modify the envi environment slightly. One more note about extensions or add-ons is that just like any application, they can be inaccessible. So we'll talk about that a little bit more as we go through the steps of managing your edge extensions. To open the settings for extensions, I am going to press Alt E Echo and then X. Alt E, menu bar X, leaving menus, extensions, Microsoft Edge work. And this is the Microsoft Edge settings. It's laid out just like the Chrome settings. If you're not familiar with them, it's a web page, and your focus when you move to the settings is always put in the search bar. I'll press Escape. Escape, virtual PC. And then this is laid out just like a web page again. So I'll press H. Installed extensions heading level two. And right here, I could actually go down through this list, and it's going to feel a very similar to what Liz just did uh, with all of the other settings in Edge. But before we do that, I actually want to show you the Microsoft add-on store. And here's what I mean by that terminology back and forth. So I'll press a uh, links list, just like I were, if I were on a web page. Links list dialog, links list view, learn more about extent Chrome web store, learn more, learn more about allowing extensions from other stores, get extensions from Microsoft Edge, one of four. So that's the link I want. You heard some other links mentioned there and you can choose one of those if you want to learn more or read a little bit more about different extensions, you can opt to search the Chrome extension store as well as the Microsoft Edge add-on store, giving you more options of extensions. Although in some cases, the Chrome extensions may not work perfectly with Edge. So I've chosen just to leave it on the default. So when we go to this link here, which again Caps says, lock, Caps lock on. oh, sorry. Caps lock off get extensions for Microsoft Edge 1 of 4. When we go to this link, we will just be searching the Microsoft add-on store. So I'm going to press enter here. Enter. Loading page. Loading complete. So again, I'm put directly in the search for the Microsoft add-ons store. Microsoft Edge add-ons, Microsoft Edge work. So I'm going to search for productivity. P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-V-I-T-Y. And if I wanted to, there are typing suggestions. I could press down arrow to look at them. I'm just going to press enter to submit my search. Enter. Search results for productivity 195 extensions. And I want to get out of forms mode. I'll press escape. Escape. Vert. And then H to move to my search results heading. Search results for productivity heading level. This is all laid out fairly simply. And the navigation tools I'm using most often in Edge are just tab and left, right, and up and down arrows. So here to move through these search results, I'll press down arrow. Heading level one, 195 extension grid with two columns and productivity owl, one of 20 search result button, one. And you can get more information if you move down that way about each search result. But I'm going to productivity owl, one of 20 search result button. Focus here. If I wanted to go back and change the search, I would just shift tab back to the search edit field. But we're going to go ahead and install this add-on or extension. Actually, we're going to move down a bit because I think this one's already installed on my browser. Productive Mark LLC. Want to be productive? Let the productivity owl guide you to accomplishment. Remove productivity owl button. 
Yep. And so right there, you see that it's already installed on my browser and it gives me the option to remove it from here. Homey, productivity, new tab, two of 20 search results. Homey, productivity start page with live wallpapers, inspirational quotes, bookmark manager, HD wallpapers, productivity, new tab for Chrome, get homey, productivity, new tab button. So as you move down under the search result, you get a short summary of what the extension is and then an option to add it to your browser right there. But we're going to text to speech that brings productivity three of 20 search result button six. Let's go ahead and press enter okay. here. Microsoft Edge add-ons. And then we're taken to the page for that add-on. So just like if you were in the app store and you chose a search result, you'd be taken to that app's more detailed page. And I could examine this page, but in the sake of time, I'm just going Escape. to press control home and I'm going to hit B. Help button collapsed. Developers button collapsed. All Microsoft expand to see list of Microsoft products and services button collapsed. Get text to speech that brings productivity button. And again, at this point, I know nothing about this extension, but I can assume it's safe because it's in the Microsoft store. Enter. Add text to speech that brings productivity to Microsoft Edge. Dialog. Cancel button. So once I press the button to add, to get the extension, I am asked to confirm. Add extension button by pressing the add extension button. Enter text to speech that brings productivity, Microsoft Edge add-ons, Microsoft Edge work, checking dot 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 button unavailable, downloading, copy me on playout, confirm catch v 31139crx 82.5 kilobytes, add-on already installed on your browser, text to speech that brings productivity has been added to Microsoft Edge modal. All right, we had a couple conflicting messages there, but I have several extensions installed already, so it could be possible let me show you how to go back to the extension settings so that we can manage these and actually see what's installed. I am just going to use Alt E X. Alt E, menu, settings X, leaving menus, extensions, Microsoft Edge work, escape. And I will press H. Installed extensions heading level two. And here we are back at that list and I can use down arrow. Installed extensions list of three items. Heading level three from Microsoft store. Dark reader extension icon graphic. All right, so that's my holy grail right there. That's always active. And if I press down there, I get more options. Dark reader, dark mode for every website. Take care of your eyes. Use dark theme for night and daily browsing. So that's what I do. It does help my eyes quite a bit, but that's just my own personal preference. I'm gonna keep on moving along. Details button, remove button. So my next two options, I can press details to see more about this extension and then I have the option to remove it. And then- Remove button, enable dark reader checkbox checked. I can just disable it. So there are several extensions that I've downloaded that I just don't have active. And if you just want to go through the list quickly, again, just like an HTML web page, Virtual PC. I can press X to jump through these checkboxes. Enable productivity owl checkbox not checked. And I see that that one is installed, but it's not enabled. Enable text to speech that brings productivity checkbox checked. That one is enabled. I'm going to disable it. Space extensions main region installed extensions text to speech that brings productivity. And if I wanted to if I actually wanted to remove this. Virtual PC, enable productivity, owl checkbox, text to speech, text to speech, that intelligent speaker for details button, remove button. Enter, remove text to speech that brings productivity from Microsoft Edge, dialog, remove button. And Enter. I'm asked Opening to confirm. Tab, loading page, text to speech that brings productivity extension removed. Untitled and two more pages work, Microsoft Edge, intelligent speaker removed, Microsoft Edge work, report a problem to Google button, off, loading complete, intelligent speaker removed, sign in button. All right, and I am prompted several times as Edge works on that process and I'm updated to let know that that extension has been removed. That is how you can access your extension settings in Microsoft Edge, add them from the Microsoft Store and then remove them or deactivate them as you wish. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.